Miles. Miles, what's wrong? Molly, I'm scared. Come here, babe. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I might have had a heart attack that scared me so much. It was totally unexpected. I don't know why, but child-led horror movies are just the scariest. The children are just creepy when they're in scary movies. Like, there's just something about them that's very eerie. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, how's it going, you guys? I'm your host, Landon Dowitzing. I'm Eamon Hassan. Let's just get straight into this one. This is the top 10 scary child lead horror movies that you shouldn't watch alone. Starting us off with number 10 is Children of the Core. Now, I know the name of this 1984 supernatural horror doesn't really seem ominous, but believe me, it is, I swear to God. Written by Stephen King, the plot follows the locals of a very Christian town in the fictional place of Gatlin. Now, the main character, 12-year-old Isaac Croner, is a bit of a psycho. He convinces all but two of the children in the town to join a religious cult and worship this bloodthirsty entity. They all then go and start murdering every single adult in town as some sort of human sacrifice and then we fast forward a few years and see a couple traveling through America and they happen upon this now abandoned looking town of Gatlin and let's just say they're not as alone as they think. Next up at number 9 we have The Prodigy. It's the movie trailer you guys saw at the intro of this video. The movie is about a concerned mother who is witnessing some disturbing and terrifying behaviors from her son. She thinks something supernatural may be affecting him. Yeah, I think you're right about that one. His intelligence is off the charts. I don't have an exact score, but it'll be very high. He's special. That kid is for sure going to be a serial killer when he grows up. Always starts with the pets. The producer of this movie also produced The Exorcism of Emily Rose. So yeah, he knows what he's doing. Filling our number 8 slot now is Village of the Damned. Released in 1995, the sci-fi horror literally had the tagline, Beware the Children, so we already know these little monsters are up to no damn good, pun intended, ha ha ha. Now, the plot is set in a coastal town where one night every living thing in town falls asleep at 10am and wake up 6 hours later. When awake, the town realizes 10 women have now become pregnant somehow, despite one literally being a virgin and another having not been sexually active for over a year. All the children are born on the same night and they literally look like the Aryan race Hitler always wanted. I'm talking platinum blonde hair, pale pale skin, the bluest of eyes and so forth. These children aren't normal, they don't have personalities, they don't even have any consciousnesses, yes that is the plural, but they do have psychic powers, which means when they're in pain it can result in violent consequences for other people and they can also just get adults to do whatever the hell they want. The kids start pairing off like maids and soon become outcast by the town and the catastrophe unfolds from there. It's very creepy. I know it's old, but creepy as hell, I assure you. Number seven. This movie literally has it all. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. We're talking about The Shining. It's such an amazing psychological classic. Danny, the boy in the film, was acted by Danny Lloyd when he was just eight years old. And get this, he never did another movie since then. Well, until now, he's actually in the new Doctor Sleep movie that's in theaters right now. So it's been 39 years since we've seen this kid on the big screen. He looks really different, but it's nice to see him on the big screen again. But I just wonder what happened to him all that time. All right, let's move on to number six. Let's actually talk about Dr. Sleep, written by Stephen King, because there are a ton of child actors in that movie. The movie's about Danny Torrance, you know, the little boy from The Shining, we've been talking about him. Well, now he has to protect a young girl with similar powers that he did. Well, let me show you guys a little bit of the trailer. You can hear me. You're magic, like me. I don't know about magic. I always called it The Shining. It looks like a very scary movie. I haven't seen it yet, but if you guys have, let me know what you guys thought of it. No spoilers. Just tell me if you thought it was good in the comment section below. Coming in at number five is Let the Right One In. Now, this Swedish romantic horror was released in 2008 and is based off the book of the same name. Now, the plot takes place in Stockholm in the 80s and follows a 12-year-old boy called Oscar, a vampire child called Eli, and her caretaker, Hakan. The movie touches on many disturbing things like 
pedophilia, self mutilation, murder, bullying, genital mutilation, etc. Like everything messed up is in this movie. Now Oscar becomes friends with Eli when she moves in next door and he finds out that Eli was turned into a vampire when she was a child and hence forever remains in a young body and mind. Hakan, Eli's caretaker, was a former teacher who got caught with child pornography and as you can imagine is very much in love with Eli and goes out and kills people to get blood for her in order to sustain her in exchange for money. The story goes on when Hakan gets caught on his last blood procuring mission and things just get really, really bad. I'm talking death, murder, acid throwing, blood drinking, it's all happening and it's just not okay. It is not okay. Rolling into our number 4 spot is The Children. The 2008 horror has the tagline, you brought them into the world, they will take you out, which is a great spin on things isn't it? Not. Not at all. Now, the plot revolves around a family with three kids going to an aunt's house for New Year's. As soon as they get there, the kids start getting sick one by one out of nowhere and weird occurrences start taking place. The sickness somehow makes the children violent and they start killing all the adults in the house. So really this movie is just about kids versus parents and both sides honestly put up a great fight. Like I was refereeing and I was like god damn, one all, two all, three all, it's a tie. You know what I mean? Number 3, Carrie. I was never able to watch this movie alone. Well, the girl who played Carrie was played by Sissy Spacek, who is 69 years old right now. I mean, that kind of just shows you how old the movie is, but it lasted through time as this amazing classic movie. There was a remake of this movie played by Chloe Moretz and also Julianne Moore. The movie is about a girl who finds out she has telekinetic powers after being humiliated by her classmates at her senior prom. She takes revenge on them all. Carrie burns down her whole school with everyone inside. And then she goes on to kill her own mother. Let's just say, yeah, it's pretty damn terrifying. Coming in at number two is Orphan. Now this one will forever give me the creeps. I'm not even kidding. I just hate how scary it is. Like, no. The psychological horror was released back in 2009 and it follows a couple that ends up adopting a nine-year-old Russian orphan after the stillbirth of their third child. But things start getting weird when this nine-year-old starts revealing she has a lot of knowledge about subjects she shouldn't know about and the fact that her murder count is unknown before she gets to the family. So it's like, who are you? Then we find out this nine-year-old isn't nine at all. And imagine how scary it would be to find out someone you were loving and housing was not even close to who they said they were. My friend actually verbally told me the whole plot of the film when I was like 13 and when I got home the front door of my house was ajar and I just ran to my friend's house and slept there. I was like I'm not going in. Esther's gonna be in there and she's gonna kill me. I don't have time for this. Finally at number one we have The Sixth Sense. I mean how can we make a movie list like this without adding this movie to it? The child actor Haley Joel Osment, I think he did an amazing job in the movie. I was looking at pictures of what this kid looks like today and well here he is right here. You guys are looking at him. I mean he, he, he kind of looks the same. He's got that long beard and probably won't pass for a young kid anymore but he looks the same. Every time I watch this movie I get so scared. I always forget what happens in the movie and I'm always on the edge of my seat while watching it. I see dead people walking around like regular people. I don't see anything. Are you sure they're there? Sometimes you feel it inside. Well there you guys have it. Thanks so much for watching. I've been your host Eamon Hassan. And I was your host Landon Dallas saying thanks so much for watching and we'll see you guys next time. True. <laughs> <laughs> Insert https dot <laughs> slash slash. <laughs> Imagine it's it. The whole fucking thing every time. Well, what's happening, you guys? I'm your host for this one, Landon Dalitzing. I'm Eamon Hassan. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <f> <laughs> uh, what's, what's your line? <laughs> okay, I'll do mine again. Okay. This is the top 10 scary child led horror movies that you shouldn't watch alone. Yeah, is it led or lead? Because it says lead. 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 Yeah, lead. child lead? Yeah. What'd you say, lead? You led because you said lead earlier. Yeah, yeah, you did, you did, 100%. 100% you did, 100%. Yeah, just Okay, okay. He convinces all but two of the children that attack. That was too much, I couldn't breathe. Sorry about that. Dun dun dun. Alright, next up, number nine. We got The Prodigy, the movie trailer that you Sorry. <laughs> the producer of this movie also produced The Exorcism, The, the Exorcism. A smooth entrance. Ha ha ha. Filling on number eight slot, no. And the cat, oh, and the egg. This Swedish romantic horror was bluntly blunt.
Is it me again? Or the Korean Yeah, you're actually here for it. Rolling into our number four spot is the children. Ah, oh, the children. Well, the girl that plays Carrie was played by Sissy Spas uh, Sp Spasic. There was a remake of the movie played by Chloe Mort. Um, what's her name? Mortez? Moretz. Chloe Moretz. Moretz. Chloe Grace Moretz. Moretz, right? <coughs> Moretz. Moretz. Is that Sarah? Yeah, Moretz. Yeah. Moretz. Don't worry about it. I'm always ready. <laughs> I fucking hate this movie, it's so creepy. Coming in at number two is The Orphan. No, it's not. Is that it? Yeah. Okay, outro. <laughs> we scripted I, it. I'll just say what it is there. <laughs> well, there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. <clears throat> you gotta say uh, the host. Oh, fucking hell. Right, say it again. You just say it. Sorry. Well, there you oh, guys. Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, more time. <laughs>